Now let me explain, see, I'm not trying to take you down, I'm trying to take away pain. Try my best to refrain from being the same as all these other low lowlifes that probably don't remember your name. And all your exes sitting left, I'm trying to home run. Trying to make you happy, make a difference in the long run. So trust me when I say I'm swollen shut. I'm spilling out my heart because you opened up and now I'm going dumb when we touch. Yeah, I'm not saying that we're picture perfect, but I'm saying that we fit proportion. I'm showing you that we're more than love because of lust, not hidden behind the curtain. I'm telling all the facts, don't ask me because I'm certain. It's certain we both come from her places but you don't have to tell yourself that that's the reason why we're in relation i'm just trying to see a smile on your face and make this chapter permanent no need to change your pages smile on your face you always say i'm changing but i only change the pace you're following your dreams and i know i do the same but see lately you're the only thing i'm needing that i chase and i hate the fact that you only listen to what they say i've never been the type to listen now they hit the replay it's funny how these things happen never had a delay because everything i'm seeing comes to life and i don't see fake i only see the real and you probably why i fell in i'm writing all these letters you would think that i'm a felon i'm going crazy always buying what you're selling and yeah i know i'm stubborn i hear nothing like i'm hellin but once I make it, you'll have everything you want. I'll put you at the top when I get on. Yeah, I just want to put the queen of buddy's pawns and carry out the story when you're gone. What's up, everybody? I hope, I hope there was no time problem here. It seems like I don't think there's been any changes here. I don't know where Lolly is. Where is Lolly? Somebody wake her up. She's obviously late. Oh, and let me get in here. And there we're going. There we go. Now we're all good to go. Hello, everybody. I hope you're having an amazing start to your week. Thanks for tuning in to the, to the stream. Uh, let's see who's in the chat, shall we? Uh, Emery, you're on top. You've dethroned Lolly because she slept in. Lolly, if you don't know who Lolly is, she's our longtime smart viewer. Love her, but she's usually on top. No, you're on top, Emery. Well done for you. Judy's a very eligible, very uh, respectable number two. Well done, Judy. Ahmed, Farah, Gertie, all in the house. Pilar is back. What's up, Pilar? How you doing? Maya's back. What's up, Maya? Uh, Imad, how you doing? M.A., how you doing? Uh, Narayana, I'm not sure what's going on there. Hopefully we're all good. Okay, we're here at 10 a.m. because of the online was shown. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what happened there, Narayana. I hope we're all good to go now. Maybe it's our, maybe I had the date wrong. Uh, hopefully that's not what happened. It's every now and then, can't believe it or not, makes a little mistake. So it's possible that I chose the wrong time. That's possible. That could definitely happen. But trust trust that we will be here and I will be here hanging out with you lovely people every Wednesday at 2 p.m. and Thursday at 2 p.m. and Julia is also at 2 p.m. on Tuesday so trust trust that even if you cannot trust the time you see on YouTube trust that we will be here spending a wonderful time together only human what's up uh, who else we got in here uh, Ahmed's in the house. What's up with you, Ahmed? Uh, Ivan's back. What's up, Ivan? Gertie, I was waiting for you. I watched your first live stream. It is so funny how you started. Yeah, I bet it is probably funny. I, I'm hoping there's some improvement, Gertie. I'm hoping I've gotten slightly better since my first stream. But life works in circles, as, as you'll see today. So uh, I always watch you. Good, Kedar. I appreciate that. Thank you for watching me closely only human Ro what's up what's up Saima how you doing all right boom I think we're here I think people will start trickling in here's a new word for you trickling in just like the water uh, as we get going so here's what we're gonna do today let me set you up with a question of the day I know you love them uh, so the question of the day 
We're actually going to look at a kind of a serious topic today. So the topic of today is have you ever been, and here it is, have you ever been bullied? So this is what we're going to look at today. Uh, bullying, what is it? Have you ever had it? Hello, Hashim, how are you doing? Uh, have you ever been bullied? Maybe think about, think back to junior high school, elementary. Maybe it's happening now. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's something that's going on in your workplace. Hmm, serious topic. So we're going to go a little bit serious today, which is cool. We need to be serious sometimes. Hello, Valeria. Hello, Michele. Uh, yeah, bullied. So harassment, exactly. Same, same deal. Harassment, and you can say that. You can say both. Have you ever been harassed? Have you ever been bullied? They're basically kind of the same deal. And we're going to look at it today. We're going to look at some examples. We're going to do a little bit of reading about some real examples, and we're going to see how bullying can, can affect people. It's not good, and we're going to talk about it today. So the question is, have you ever been bullied? Anybody have an example here? So I'll go first. When I was in, when I was in junior high school, I got bullied. And kids are cruel, man. Kids can be really cruel. Oh, Kedar, no, don't bully other people. That's not cool. Uh, but yeah, kids can be really cruel and you know, they say things just to make the other child feel bad, but they have no idea that it could do some damage to that person, you know what I mean? Some people get bullied and they can feel the effects really later in life, so it, it's something that doesn't leave you. Like if, if you got attacked by a bird, a lot of people have bird phobias, they're afraid of birds. And if you get attacked by people, maybe not physically, but verbally and mentally you feel, you know, it's a difficult situation, that's going to continue. That stays with kids into, uh, into their future. So it, it's, it's a difficult topic if you have been bullied. It's kind of a, it's kind of a tough situation to go through because kids take everything seriously. Now let me add that. I'm going to do some vocab building with you today. Uh, so let me do that. Take something seriously is something we can use in English to talk about when you react strongly to a situation. And I will share this document with you as well. Kids take things seriously. So take something seriously. Mm, so that's a collocation. Uh, and it just means, um, how to say that? Has a strong impact on something someone usually it's someone okay so let's go let's see what you guys got this is what we're gonna be look, looking at today so there we go see I don't know what they're making fun of that poor girl see protect her uh, what do we got here um, only human yes I'm being bullied all the time because there are a lot of losers around me yeah and that's the thing only human bullies are losers because they're why are they bullying you is it so is it because it might be because that they have a little problem with themselves and so they they make fun of other people it makes them feel a little bit tougher a little bit more powerful so it's it's actually that bullies are probably weak people they're weak individuals and that's why they bully other people is because they think oh it makes me feel tough it makes me feel important because maybe they're not getting enough attention at home or something like that so it's actually the opposite you think bullies are tough no they're actually not tough they're actually weak people because why would they try to make themselves feel so tough all the time? It's probably because they're super self-conscious. So there we go. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Michaeli, we received the notification really early today, but it's good to see you at the same time again. Sorry, Michaeli, that's guaranteed Kent's fault. Kent makes mistakes. He's a, he's a big picture kind of guy, not a small details kind of guy. And every now and then he makes mistakes. So I apologize for that, but trust that we will be here same smart time, same smart place. Lolly made it. She woke up. There we go. Elena's here. What's up, Elena? Uh, although I was never, I was never bullied, but I hate it, and it makes me very angry. There we go. This is surprising. I'll, I'll be honest. I thought more people would be bullied in their lifetime, but it, I'm not getting a lot of replies here. So not a lot, not a lot of you have been bullied before. Uh, Judy, this time bullying is a bigger problem than was before, than it was before, due to the internet, due to internet access. That could be a good point, right? So these days people, it's not just bullying face to face anymore, right? So let's write that one down. That's a good piece of vocab as well. Face to face. And that is pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to write self-explanatory. 
Yeah, it's actually one of those things that you can do it online. It doesn't have to be face to face. You can do it, so. I guess you would call it cyberbullying, and then we'll, we'll look at a little bit of that today. We'll try to get some definitions of what it is as well. Okay, so we got that. Yeah. All right. So let's see here. Let's jump into here. Uh, it says bullying has become one of the most important problems at school. That makes sense, right? Uh, so let's see. Let's ask. Let's jump into a few more questions here and see what else we got here. All right, so most of you said no, which I was kind of surprised about. What are your experiences with bullying? Did you have any bullying experiences as a child? And most of you said no, which I'm kind of surprised about. I thought it would be more commonplace because I got bullied when I was a kid. Uh, and it wasn't really nice. I don't recommend you do that to anybody. It's really not cool. Didn't like it at all. Uh, number two, what causes bullying? So let's, let's jump in and let's try to answer this question together. So let, let's do this and feel free if you want, you run away, run away to the internet and do some research. What causes bullying? Who becomes a bully and what drives them to pick on others? Good word. So let's add that word to our list. If you pick on somebody, it means you bully them. So now I would say bullying sounds stronger than pick on. So let's put both of those words on there. If you bully someone, it means you, let's see, let's get a good definition of bully. Definition. Uh, here we go. A person who habitually seeks to harm or intimidate. Ah. So basically, bigger people who want to harm, hurt, or intimidate, make them feel bad, for example, to other people who are vulnerable. So some people, maybe they're not super tough. And they say, oh, I can, I can pick on that person. I can, I can bully that person. So this is a definition of a bully. So let's put that in there. So harm or intimidate someone who's vulnerable. Now, another one we can use is pick on. And I gave that example. So if you pick on someone, this is a good word. Now, pick on is a little bit lighter. It's not so strong. I think. I guess it could be strong and it might be not so strong. Like for example, maybe your big brother used to pick on you. Kind of bullying, but not so strong. We say pick on you, pick on you, pick on you. It's like create problems for you. Let's see what the definition of pick on is, because that's another good word. Pick on somebody. What does it mean? Repeat it, repeatedly, repeatedly, say it, you can do it. Repeatedly single someone out for blame, criticism, similar to bully. Uh, so I'm just going to give you an easy definition. I'm going to say treat unkindly. Now is it stronger? Pick on, repeat, repeatedly. Single someone out for blame, criticism, or unkind treatment in a way perceived to be unfair. So you could say treat unkindly and unfairly. Great. Let's just go with that. All right, let's see. Yeah, there's some other good words in there as well. Jealousy, losers are, losers be bully. Yeah. What's the meaning of pick on? So pick on is to treat in a rude way. So you pick on your little brother. Maybe you, you, you say, ah, ha, ha, you got a stupid haircut. Or ah, ha, ha, you know, those clothes look silly. You are picking on your brother. Bullying is, is a stronger word. I don't think so. Sometimes you pick on people because you like them. Usually when you bully someone, you really don't like them. There's a, there's a real anger behind your intention. So I'd say picking on is the softer one. You pick on your little brother. Sometimes your father picks on you. I don't know. You know what I mean? But maybe they're not bullying you. That's a stronger word. Uh, what else we got? If I got bullied, my parents would stop at nothing. Nice combination. Stop at nothing to avoid me from bullies in school to get me away from or to remove me from the bullies at school. Only human. Bullies cannot stand to see anyone better than them in any way. That works as well. Um, it says nagging. Um, nagging I don't think is the same. Nagging is like your mother tells you, Ahmed, take out the garbage. And she says it again and again and again. That's nagging. Or do your homework or do your homework or do your homework. Nagging is like complaining and you do it again and again. It's kind of repeatedly. Uh, the low self-esteem people do it. Yeah, I agree. Uh, mock someone. Is that another way to say, yeah, mock is similar to, now what is the definition of mock? That's a good word. If you mock somebody, let's see what the definition is here. 
muck. Tease or laugh. Tease or laugh in a scornful or contemptuous manner. So tease, does everyone know teasing? That's a good word as well. We need to put that as well. So let's put both of those. Tease or laugh. Laugh at, that's a good one. And then we can also do tease. I would say tease is the most common word that we use. We say, don't tease me, right? Don't make jokes about me or at me. So both of these are good. Okay, so that's good. We got some nice vocab here. Uh, let's see what else we got. So face to face, good. Take something seriously. Uh, what else? What else we got here? So mm, eye to eye, make a mockery, eye to eye, low self-esteem. Yeah, take a take a shy at someone. What does that mean? Take a shy. Take a shot, maybe. Uh, it's okay, Aisha. Kent got the times wrong, so you're not late. Kent's late. Uh, I got bullied a lot when I was a child. Although I'm not in the same school with them anymore, I feel that people are still trying to do the same thing to me. Hmm, mocking is making fun. So there we go. So let's say make fun. Make fun of somebody. That's another way to say tease. Make fun of somebody. Okay, tease. Okay, there we go. Uh, can I please share the document? Yes, I can. Let me give you that document as well. I'm going to give you all the stuff we're going to be, all the vocabulary we're going to be working on today. So let me give it that to you. So there it is. Document is there. Please jump in and grab it, and you'll have access to all the vocabulary that I'm putting on this document today. Okay, let's try another question here. Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Okay, different question. How about this one? What are the qualities of a person who is likely to be bullied? So if you are bullied, what are you like? What are your qualities? Uh, ooh, look down on somebody. That's a nice piece of vocab as well. Yeah, let's do that. What does it mean if you look down on somebody? Hello, little bird. Hello, there you are. Oh, I can't see you. Uh, look down on somebody means, basically means you don't respect somebody. You treat them badly. You say bad things about them as well. So you look down on somebody as a phrasal verb, and it basically means um, uh, feel that feel that you are superior to another person. And I guess it could be a thing. I guess you could look down on some, but it's usually people. You look down on someone. Nice phrasal verb there. Good. Okay, so the question was this, what are the qualities of a person who is likely to be bullied? Uh, maybe low self-esteem? Low self-esteem. Oh, let's get that again. If you have low self-esteem, you don't have confidence in yourself. Uh, so don't have confidence. Yourself. Okay, what are some other qualities? Someone who's shy, yeah, definitely someone who's, who's shy or reserved. So again, I'm gonna give you a new word. You know the word shy, so I'm gonna give you the word reserved. And reserved is another way to say shy. Okay, true, definitely that as well. Introvert, yeah, definitely. So what is introvert? Uh, you have extrovert and you have introvert. So if you are introvert, again, it's basically like shy. And extroverts are usually people who need to talk to other people all the time. So again, shy will go similar with that, pretty similar. Uh, there we go, introvert, depressed. So again, what are the qualities, what are the qualities of a person who is likely to be bullied? They are depressed and so they get bullied? I guess it's possible. I guess it's possible that they might be depressed already and so that makes them an easy target. There's a combination of words. An easy target. Basically easy to shoot. So an easy target is a combination. Would be uh, easy to easy to attack, I guess. An easy target. Okay, there we go. I think you understand that one, right? All right, see what else we got here. Any others here? Hazing. Ooh, there's a good word. Let me just Google that. I want to see exactly what that means. Hazing. This is something you do in sports. 
uh, hazing, a slight obscuration, nope, nope, hazing, here we go, verb, uh, a force, a new potential, yeah, hazing, that's a good word, so basically, when you join, for example, a sport, or when you join the army, sometimes they have a tradition, but it's not a nice tradition, it's a bad tradition. And it could be embarrassing, it could be dangerous, it could be stressful. So we would call that hazing. So there's a good word for you. Uh, hazing, haze, is something that you would do when you join. So let me grab that definition. Force. And it's, they say example of going to the army or going to college. And you treat, they have a tradition. But it's a, it's a rude tradition. And it's kind of uh, strenuous for the person who's doing it. But good word, very nice. All right, very good there. Hey, somebody, some, someone who gets bullied might be shy. People who are overweight, underweight are the focus of being bullied. Okay, a mobster. Why would a mobster get? Mobsters don't get bullied, I don't think. And the last one, let's do this. Let's personalize this question a little bit as well. Uh, is bullying a problem in your society? If so, how can we stop it? Good question. Ooh, nerds and geeks are often buried. A bully Eleanor, what's the difference between a nerd and a geek? That's a, that's a good question. You, someone might do a class on that. Someone might have done a class on that. That's a good question. Um, okay, so the question is, is bullying a problem in your society? Individualistic is throwing up bashful. Let's see here. Bashful people. Yeah, let's get a good definition of bashful. I think it's similar to shy. Bashful shy reluctant to draw attention to oneself basically shy so let's add that one as well okay so a lot of ways to say shy bashful it's a little bit of an old word bashful okay okay cool there we go next question was this uh, is bullying a problem in your country if so how can we stop it uh, let's see what else we got here. Why do why do most of you blaming the bullied person? That is wrong and unfair. Um, only human. I don't think anybody's blaming the bullied person. I think they're they're more concerned about the bullies. Um, <laughs> in school, being popular is the main the main purpose, and being cool and having cool things too. But who? But people who cannot afford new gadgets have bullying bullying problems or are bullied. That could be an example as well. Okay, so maybe some people who are from a lower class or have a lower status might get bullied as well. Hello, Maria. How are you doing? By caring each other, supporting, ready to listen. Uh, here we go. Aisha's got one. Yes, it is a serious problem and is a gruesome, and maybe there are gruesome cases of school violence that could be an example as well well let's see here I don't know do you guys have this problem in your society do you feel like it's commonplace uh, so there's another word that you can use to talk about bullying is commonplace so this is an adjective we use to say it's normal it's common normal typical okay all right, what do we guys think about this? Anyone here got an answer for this? Mm, eh, I'm not too sure. All right, so let's see here. Following the website, make sure to answer. Personal bullying stories. Now, we're going to look at some examples of being bullied as well. We're going to look at some online ones. So there's a lot of stories here. Now, should we do these ones? No, I think we're going to do a different one. So let's take a look. Let's go to this website here. Uh, where did it go? So if you look at the top here, we're going to look at a link. We're going to do, we're going to read some examples of people who are bullied. So let's go here. Uh, here we go. Afnan's got one. Yes, at schools, by working on personality and learning new things, do more experiences. Okay. All right. So let's go here and let's see what this looks like. All right. So, so let's. I'm going to put this one here. I'm going to give you this link, and you can take a look at this as well. Uh, what else we got here? Pintu, he did nothing but obey them. Here, but is a pro Oh, Pintu, you're going to have all these grammar questions? Come on, man. We're talking about bullying right now. Uh, here, but is a preposition and nothing is the object. Please explain. He did nothing but obey them. No, nothing is, is its object. 
No, it's not an object. It's just a regular but sentence. He did nothing but obey them. He did nothing but he obeyed them. Now, why is that? He did nothing but obey them. I don't know. I don't know, Pintu. I don't know the answer, man. Um, I think it's just a normal, it's kind of a normal sentence. It's a weird one. That's a weird one. Uh, bullying is a problem. It's to stop it, we need to have dialogues. Ooh, that's good. With children about this topic and to show them how it will affect their lives. Yeah, there's a good word as well. Affect. And another way to say f affect it would be influence or change. Maybe the easiest way to, would be to say change in a negative way. Good word. Okay, so let's take a look. I'm going to send you guys to this website so we can take a look at a few uh, few examples together. So here we go. Hello. Hello, Hamuma. Uh, what else we got here? Gina's got one. I think schools and teachers stop taking a back seat when it happens. So schools and teachers should stop taking a back seat when bullying happens. They, should, they shouldn't cover things up. I agree. I think they need to speak out. So here's another word. Speak out. Basically, don't say, don't be quiet. Don't say nothing. You have to say something. So speak out would be don't stay quiet. Share your opinion. Share your opinion about a bad situation, probably. Okay, so people need to speak out more. They need to, or speak up. Speak out could be both. All right, so let's take a look at this website here. So we're going to look at a few examples, and we're going to see what people say, because these are, these are stories about teenagers who were writing about uh, bullying. So let's take a look here. And if you go to this website here, you should have access to this one here. Let's go. Oh, here we go. All right, so we're going to look at the example here. So go to this website, and you can see everything we're looking at. What is adjacent? Adjacent is if you have a square like this, and that's a square, this is adjacent. Uh, yes, of course, we can stop. Yeah, okay, so let's take a look at this. We're going to look at a few examples. So this is from an anonymous person, so we don't know who wrote this, but they did write this in t July 24th, 2019. So it says here, high school and junior high school were hell for me. Really terrible. That sucks, right? That's not fun. Kids are supposed to have fun. Everyday guys from adjacent classes. So you can think of adjacent, like I said, if you have a square like this, if that's a square, I'm trying to make it a square, adjacent would be over there. It's kind of like at an angle. So everyday guys from adjacent classes would push me over. So literally push and then you fall over. Threaten me with knives, oh my goodness. Okay, so this is another word we might use. So I'm gonna add that to our document, threaten. Um, Okay, going back here, that's, that sucks. That's not cool at all. Uh, threatened me with knives, nails, or whatever sharp objects they had. I developed a severe chronic depression. So severe is strong. Chronic is for a long time. Chronic, maybe chronic is what she wanted to, he or she wanted to say. And depression is, of, of course, being sad. And due to family problems, I didn't dare to speak. I didn't... Dare you can think of as uh, take a chance. So dare. Dare to speak, dare to say anything, dare to tell anyone. So dare is like take a chance. I didn't dare to speak at home. Some of my friends noticed that I went from a semi-loud guy, so this is a male, semi-loud, so kind of loud, to a quiet one. So this person changed. They, they, were, they were affected in a negative way. They went from a kind of a loud person, semi-loud, kind of loud person to a quiet person. And instead of asking the reason, they decided to spy on me. Okay. I don't know why they would do this, but I guess his friends, they didn't ask him, like, why are you so quiet these days? They said, we're going to spy. So they kind of were like watching their friend and just seeing what was happening to find out why did I go quiet. The bullying got harder. Then comes summer. After which, high school, naturally, I was hoping for a fresh start. So a fresh start is like a new start. You, you don't want, you want a new situation. But no, a bully just had to choose the same high school and immediately started to rumor about my skin disease that kills. So again, so here's another word, rumor, spread rumors. Uh, so let's add that combination. Spread rumors is when you, 
Does everyone know this word, rumors? You spread rumors that may or may not be true. Um, share info that may or may not be true. And I think sometimes you spread rumors, there could be a bad thing going on there. Maybe there's you want somebody to feel bad about it. So, uh, so I made a few, I made a few new friends, and finally I had enough. And if you say, I've had enough, it means you're tired, you're done, you're, you, you don't want to do this anymore. You had enough. So have enough of something. You're tired, you're tired of it. So I guess that's an idiom. Tired of something. Be totally tired of something. Okay. Uh, I'll get to get you get to that answer in a second. I told my friends what was going on, what was happening, what was going on. And for all I know, for for everything I know, the bully disappeared from school. If you are a bully, stop it. It isn't going to help you. And if you are bullied by other people, either tell a staff member or your friends. Good advice. Okay? So there was one example. And there were, what was the other word she used? he used in here? Going on. So going on just means happening. It's another way to say happening. But that's fine. I'm going to skip that one. OK, so there was one example there. All right, let's take a look at another one. Let's see what else we got. Uh, OK, so there we go. That was the first one here. Uh, gossips, rumor, yes, fatigue, carry on. Yeah, you have to keep doing it, right? All right, let's try another one. Let's do one more reading here. All right, this one is also about bullying. So again, another anonymous person, also pretty recently, July 8, 2019. My bullying started, or when I first noticed it, when I was around in second grade. So that's probably six or seven years old. There were two boys that were two grades higher than me. So again, maybe a few years older. And always called me names. This is another thing that you do. You call someone names. So I'm gonna, let's add that to the list. Call someone names. It's basically tease, but if I say, if I say, oh, you're old, that's calling you names. Or if I say, oh, big head, that's calling you names, OK? So you basically uh, say rude, give someone a rude name, rude nickname. Give people rude names. Call someone names. Yeah, exactly, a nickname. So uh, they called me names like ugly and useless. That wasn't the worst of it. So that wasn't, so it's not finished, there's more. One day on the bus, one of the boys decided to play a game by me answering random facts about him. Okay, so it's some kind of game this person didn't want to play, but they had to play the game. I didn't have a choice in the matter. I didn't have a choice in the situation since I was so young. When I lost the game, he pulled out a rubber bouncy ball. Oh my goodness. He pulled out a rubber bouncy ball, so some kind of like bouncing ball, completely impaled with toothpicks and threw it at me. Oh my goodness. So basically he had a ball and it had toothpicks in it and then he threw the ball at the kid. Like what, what the hell is going on? That's stupid. Anyway, so he did that and it completely, completely impaled the toothpicks and threw it at me. He did this a total of three times before leaving the bus. Pretty rude. Uh, later he was expelled. What is, what is expelled? So basically when you get kicked out of school, that's another way to say expelled. So if you expel someone, you are uh, removed from school for a period of time or permanently. Okay, so there we go. Uh, because I talked to my mother about it, I still have the scars. So again, there's a scars when you cut yourself and you have the you have the scar on your hand or something like that. So I still have the scars on my arm and ankle from it. Uh, all right, so here we are. Here, good, kicked out, detained, excluded. Another case was when I was in my eighth grade year in a different school. I had left the previous school due to the fact that I was being constantly scrutinized. 
So scrutinized would be similar to criticize and picked on. There's that other word we did, picked on, picked on, picked on, by my peers. And here's a word we use. So you can take, a, if you are in school, the other people in the school are your peers. They're not, your, not necessarily your friends. They might be your friends, but peers, it's kind of like coworkers, but we, it's for school. We don't use it to talk. So let's add that word as well. Good word. So your peers, now where was that? Okay. Other people who go to school with you. Other people of your, sorry, uh, I believe it's your age group. And I think that's the correct definition of peers. Let's take a look. Do, 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 peers, no, not as a verb. Peers, no, we don't got it. Here we go. A member of nobility. Mm -mm. A person in the same age status. There we go. This is the one I want. A person of the same age, status, or ability as another specified person. Okay, let's add that. Okay, peers. Uh, cool, let's keep on going here. And I was yearning for, I really, really wanted a fresh start. So same word, a fresh start. This didn't happen though, when a kid from my old school moved to my new school and started to spread horrible rumors. So there's that word, spread. They're kind of like telling, telling everybody a bad, a bad information about you, a rumor that I was watching pornography. I am a person who has an extreme phobia of sex and even talking about it makes me nervous. So my parents knew immediately that this was a lie. So basically somebody spread a bad rumor, but of course it wasn't true. Another thing that they teased me was for standing by one of my friends who is transgender. Transgender means it's a person who, who doesn't feel, so if you were a man, you say, I don't feel like a man, I feel like a woman. You identify as another person and also the opposite. Luckily, they talked to the principal and things were set straight basically fixed, set straight, for me to finish my year in peace. No violence, no anger, right, in peace. It was the, the situation was fixed. I'm still waiting to see how my junior years go in high school and if I need to write again or not. Okay, so there we go. So some pretty serious situations here and everything about, you know, uh, having rough times, having a difficult time in school. So let's see here. So. Uh, let's start with this. Let's answer a question here. Um, how can you how can you help people who experiencing who experience bullying? What advice do you have? What advice would you give them? This is useful. Okay, so let's answer this question together. This is a good one we can answer as well. How can you help people who experience bullying? And what advice would you give them? I'm going to add this to my list of questions here. So let's do that. All right, so let's go here. What do you think about this one? What advice would you give someone who is being bullied? How can you, what would you give them? Uh, Gina's got one. I feel like not only bullies are mean, but also peers in the same school. They could have protected her or him. Yeah, it's possible. I guess other kids are kind of scared too, right? Nobody wants to be bullied and maybe if they think, oh, this kid's getting bullied, maybe nobody's going to bully me, so just let that kid get bullied. It's a tough thing, right? It's tough for kids to stand up for other kids sometimes. Uh, Ro, bullying is earnest, is an, is an, an, an earnest dilemma that today's schools faced. And I think that this bad behavior should be stopped in any way, okay? Advice. Uh, parents and teachers can teach their, their students to look confident and friendly, not whiny or aggressive. Okay, interesting. Uh, Saima, be strong, don't be scared. Discuss it with your parents. So discuss the bullying with your parents. Maya, it's better to take a kid from that school. So just remove the kid entirely. So yeah, you could remove somebody from a school. Uh, so let's add that to our list as well. Remove. Good piece of advice. I don't know, I guess it seems to be like a last resort if you remove somebody from somewhere. Okay, that's another one you could do. What else we got for some advice? I would tell them, 
clap back and not be scared. What is clap back, Ahmed? You mean like fight back and not be scared? It's tough, you know, it's tough because you're kids, you know, they're kids, they're not warriors, they're young kids, they're still learning to be comfortable with themselves, and maybe there's five bullies, maybe there's six bullies, and there's only one of you. It's kind of a tough thing to tell kids to fight back sometimes, I think it's, it's hard. Uh, serious matter, be fight and s be strong. I would personally try to be a good listener to, to them and reassure them that this could happen to anyone. Parents should teach their children how to conduct themselves in society. Gina, uh, once you're out of school, those bullies would not appear in your life anymore. That's true. Yeah, I don't know. That's a tough decision, right? I guess how bad is the bullying? Is it, is it really ruining this child's life? And if the answer is yes, then it's probably a good idea to move that kid away from school. If it's not a serious one, I don't know. I guess you make that decision when the time comes. Okay, what else we got here? Uh, Ro, I would advise them to be brave and have self-confidence, okay? Yeah, that's tough. Uh, Hamuma, it's all about good education and character. Gertie, advice, speak with parents and teachers. McKaylee, I would, I would say to them, face their problems and try to listen to them. Gaurav, uh, don't praise bullying. And Elena, try to make more friends, be interested in other people, it helps. Yeah, that could be all good advice as well. So let's take a, maybe with the last little bit of time, let's do some research. And the research is going to be this. Uh, what advice is there? Uh, what advice, how do we, what are some ways? Let's do that. What are some ways to stop bullying? This is going to be your research assignment here so let me give you that question so let's look online and let's get some vocab let's get some good advice because we kind of have advice we have our advice and I'm sure there's more advice that we can do as well so let's do a quick search on this what are some ways to stop bullying or prevent or maybe prevent bullying same okay so let's take a look online I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna google it so basically go online and search this question and let's see what you find. So let's see if we can find a good website. What are some ways to stop bullying? There's a lot of websites. So here we go. We got Bullying Canada. How to prevent bullying. Government. I don't know which government that is. What can kids do? Stopbullying.gov. Let's try that one. It looks like a good website. All right. Let's get some advice here. So again, you go online. I want you guys to bring some advice. Better late than never, exactly, you're totally right. So go, on, go ahead, I want you guys to do the same thing. Search, uh, what are some ways to stop bullying? And then come back here, throw it into the chat. What did you find? Let's look at some good vocab and some good advice that you got. Uh, Gina, you have a great day. All right, so what do you got? Let's see, let's see what I got here. Give me some good vocab in here and some good advice. So let's look at both. Uh, help kids understand bullying, sure. Talk about what bullying is. Maybe kids don't understand. They're like, I'm being treated rude. You know, somebody's teasing me at school, but they don't know that they should say something, so they just continue to get teased and teased and teased. So maybe it's good for parents to just tell your kid, like, look, if someone is being rude to you or teasing you, making fun of you, you have to say something. That's probably step number one, right? Maybe they don't know what's bullying and they think it's normal. So talk to your kids about what bullying is and how to stand up to it and again I think we had that word earlier stand up oh no we didn't have to speak out stand up for yourself this is a good combination of words it means support yourself don't be quiet you stand up and you say something uh, stand up for yourself is that idiom uh, how would I explain stand up for yourself support yourself uh, and your rights, personal rights, something like that. Stand up for yourself. Don't do nothing. Say something if you're being treated rudely. Okay, what else you got? What did you guys find? Uh, I guess that school staff should set into action strong disciplinary punishment. Ooh, for those who don't abide by school's regulation. I guess it's important to do something, right? You, you also need a punishment uh, set up set into strong action punishment yeah set so maybe set the rules 
set rules and regulations, set rules for something. Set rules for bullying or ru rules for rude behavior, something like that. Okay, so you set rules usually. Create, it just means create, create rules. Okay, cool. What else, what else you got? Good advice. Teach kids how to identify bullying and stand up to it safely. Nice. Okay, so again, identify that it's a problem and stand up. How can you do that? Uh, we can give lectures. Lectures to, to children about the negative effects of bullying on the personality of the person. We can tell them, no S, the advice, no S, the advice in a simple way like using stories. Okay, so again, maybe simplifying. Uh, simplifying, telling kids in, an, in a way that they can understand. Maybe some good Disney movies could help with that. Michaeli, it's important to report bullying. Okay, good, good word. Yeah, you should report. So if there's a problem with bullying, you have to say something. You have to report it. Um, so report something. Officially tell somebody that something is happening. So it's just like you say it to the principal or to a teacher. You Maybe sometimes you fill out a report. You report it. Good advice. Yeah, you got to report it. So it's usually something important that you report. And what else we got? Uh, Maria, to become trained to handle bullying situations. Okay, so get some. There might be some kind of training available, maybe for teachers. Uh, Judith, to understand children, children's digital behavior, and how it relates to cyberbullying. So again, there's that word we didn't put it on there, but cyberbullying, basically bullying online. usually through social media, right? Uh, or maybe not, or maybe direct tec text message as well, right? Uh, to become trained to handle, yeah, Ro, everyone should teach his son or daughter, don't forget there's daughters too, Ro, his son or daughter that people have all the rights to live peacefully without problems, dilemmas, and you should get your rights if you are, if you are bullied by someone. Yeah, that's good advice. Uh, Judy, to understand, Julia, digital behavior, stand up, Stand up two, uh, stand up four, stand up four bullied students. Oh yeah, that's good. Uh, only humans start by saying that bullying is wrong and not justified in any way. And be clear that it does not happen because of the bullied or his or her qualities. Okay, I think that's right as well. Let's see what else we got here. Let me get him. Oh, get out of there. Keep the lines of communication open. So basically, always communicate. That's a good piece of advice. Encourage kids to do what they love. Special activities, interest hobbies can boost confidence. Help kids make friends and protect them from bullying behavior. Good advice. So basically, doing some sports that they enjoy would get them away from the bullies and connected to more friends who they can hang out with. And that's, that's a great piece of advice. And model. Model how to treat others. What does it mean, model? Uh, model how to treat others with kindness and respect basically means show so if the parents show good behavior the kids will probably also have good behavior so that's a good good word as well good piece of advice uh, Judy's got another one uh, help children develop emotional intelligence big word so that they can learn self-awareness okay that's good as well uh, Hamuma some situations need to run faster could be good advice just start exercising just run just run away super fast uh, what else we got here Simon by educating the kids about the bad impacts of bullying ing and encourage e n courage them to inform their parents good and there's another word similar to a report you're going to inform somebody or something which means kind of tell. Good advice. Okay, cool. Who's bullying? Lolly, you're being bullied right now. Uh, FNN, ask the bully to stop if you feel safe. So if you feel safe to say something, you could tell them to stop as well. Uh, oh, she's answering a question. Wafa, uh, it's, yeah, it's about bullying. It's about uh, people treating you in a bad way, saying something bad or being rude to you. All right, let's see what else we got here. Encourage kids to speak to a trusted adult. 
good advice. Report bullying. Stand up to kids who bully. Give tips like using humor and saying stop directly and confidently. Okay, so telling them to stop. If, they, if you don't say stop, maybe they never stop. But if you say stop, maybe they eventually they, they quit. Talk about what to do if actions don't work. Talk about strategies. This is useful. Strategies for staying safe, such as staying near adults or other groups of kids. So basically staying in situations where you're going to be a little bit safer. Urge them to help kids who are bullied by showing kindness or getting help. And watch the short webisodes. Oh, there's webisodes. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. All right, so there we go. What else does it say? Start conversations. This is good. Start conversations about daily life and feelings with questions like these. So start conversations. So ask your kids questions, right? Or ask people questions like, what happened today? Or, you know, why are you so, you know, hopefully you can ask them the right questions and they open up because they feel that they trust you, right? Uh, what else we got here? Um, and parenting their children properly prevents kids from being bullied or at least mitigating it. Yeah, a good word, mitigating. So reducing the impact. Gertie, definitely. Model how to treat others is the best way to stop bullying. Yeah, so basically show your kids how to be nice and your kids will also be nice. You model it. Uh, Afnan, take, take immediate action. Yeah, I think we talked about that word in the beginning, right? No, we did it different. Take action. Do something. Good word. Nice one. Let's add that. Take action means do something. Don't do nothing. Take action is a collocation or is it an idiom? I guess it's a collocation. Do something. Do something to uh, create, maybe to create change. Take action. If there's a problem, you take action. You do something, right? Okay, what else we got here? Ooh, good word, bystander. Uh, JB, intimidate them into retaliation. I like it. In some situations, I don't know, maybe it works. Judy, establish rules about the amount of time that a child can spend online on their devices. Identify which apps are appropriate for your child's use and which are not. Hmm, interesting. Don't be a bystander. Yeah, uh, another word we can use is victim. I think you know this word as well. We've used it before. But a victim is a person who kind of Let's see, what's the definition of victim? No, there's a definition, I'm sure there is. Victim, a person harmed, injured, or killed as a result of a crime. So it could be harmed. Uh, it doesn't have to be killed. A victim can also just be harmed. So kids who get bullied, they are victims. So let's add that as well. A person who's harmed, injured, or killed because of some particular action. Okay. Uh, Rolf, share your problems with your parents. Responsibles, uh, responsibles who who are responsible to stop that. Hamuma, just be brave. Go hard or go home. It's all about the first impression. Okay. Uh, next one. Maybe if children learn how to defend themselves. At a younger age, yeah, that's uh, that's a good. I'm gonna use that as vocab. I don't know. That's um, does anyone do Brazilian jiu-jitsu? I think uh, or karate or something like that. So if you defend oneself, it basically means protect. Uh, protect yourself. So some people teach their kids martial arts like Brazilian jiu-jitsu or karate or judo because it's it's another way to give the kids confidence give them confidence and maybe they can actually protect themselves if a violent situation erupts, right? It's another, so potentially could be useful. Keep calm, encourage children not to like, share, or comment on information that has been posted about someone. So don't spread rumors, don't contribute to bullying. Uh, Ro, defend yourself and remove everything that harms you. And JB, some violence and aggression here and there does work. Yeah, it's tricky. It's a tricky thing. Some, maybe some bullies, they just need to feel that you push back. And if you push back a little bit, maybe they stop entirely. I'll be honest with you, when I was in a kid, uh, when I was in a kid, when I, when I was a kid, I got into a fight with a bully. And I kicked his butt. It was awesome. But, because he was bullying me again and again and again, so eventually I just, I, I, I had enough. I had enough. And we fought. 
And I remember I punched this guy and I punched him in the face like many times. I'm not saying you should punch people in the face. I was a kid, it was probably stupid. But I punched him in the face a bunch of times and I actually got respect from him because I won. So as soon as I won, he was kind of like cool with me and joking with me and we were kind of friends for a little while. So bullies are weird. So sometimes bullies are just looking for, I don't know, someone to stand up for themselves or maybe something like that. As soon as they, sometimes when they realize that you're not weak, they respect you more. So maybe it is a good idea sometimes to stand up for yourself, you know, say strongly like, no, you know, you can stop saying that and you just be confident about it because bu bullies look for weakness. So if you have strength, maybe it's a good way to deter is another word kind of avoid bullying so there you go i'm not recommending you go punch a bully in the face but i'll be honest that that seemed to do the seem to solve the problem for a little while it's kind of weird anyways okay and last one let's see what else we got here any other advice and i think that's good uh, okay there we go that was pretty good advice all right, there we go. Kent, use physical self-defense as last resort. This happened. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a tricky one. Because, you know, like I said, some bullies, bullies look for weakness. And if you don't have weakness, maybe they stop bullying you. Hmm, interesting. Know how to defend. I think knowing how to defend yourself is good if a dangerous situation appears and you have no choice. But... But if you have some kind of, you know, strength like a jujitsu or a karate, you don't, you never want to use it to attack people. You only use it to defend yourself in a serious situation if somebody attacks you. But you never use it to attack others. Yeah, well, I was like a kid and I punched the guy in the face. So, I don't know. He seemed to be cool with it after that. So, yeah, d knowing how to defend yourself is not a bad thing. And I, I recommend everybody should know how to defend themselves a little bit. Guys, girls especially. Girls have to be more careful, I feel, most of the time. Uh, doing something like Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Krav Maga, do you know what this is? These are really great sports where you can, you can learn how to protect yourself in a really dangerous situation. Never use it to attack, but self-defense uh, sports can be a really great way. See, look at this one here. Look at this girl here. You learn a few basic moves, and you learn how to protect yourself in a dangerous situation for a knife attack or something like that. And you can see it's usually girls who could probably use some more of this just to be, you know what I mean? So anyways, there's this as well. So if you've never done any martial arts training, oh, well, there we go, there's a move, boom. Take, taking guys, oh, there's a move, boom. That, that guy is going to sleep. So if you've never done any martial arts training before, I highly recommend it. I did Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for a long time and it, was, it just gives you confidence, and it gives you better energy, and it gives you respect for being, you know, being, um, how to say, being responsible. So if you've never done martial arts, do it. Go do some martial arts. They're amazing. It will change your mentality, and you will feel better every day because you're doing some pretty hard sport, and it's good for your mentality. It's good for everything. I'll be honest, you, martial arts are awesome. They teach you respect. They teach you how to take care of yourself. They give you good energy. So. I'm going to end on that. I'm going to end on that. I think everybody should go do some martial arts. Uh, it's useful and it can uh, really probably, you know, protect you in some ways as well. There we go. Boom. Martial arts. Kick some butt. Not too bad. Whoa, that one looks painful. But anyways, that was it. Uh, that was the talk about bullying today. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you got some good vocab that you can use to talk about bullying in the future. Uh, and we will be back. Don't worry. Trust that we will be back tomorrow at the same smart time in the same smart place uh, Thursday 2 p.m. count on it we will be there have yourselves an amazing day I will see you all later say no to bullies learn some martial arts talk to your kids I will share the link with you and have yourselves an amazing day and I'll see you all tomorrow bye bye everybody Electricity.
city. Now I see. Yeah. Each time I fall, I know I'll rise again. I'll walk the line again. Every breath I'm taking in, I'm not scared to go on. You left me lost, so I fly on my own. Hey.